And speaking of that cast, let's now bring in Hughes co-star, Academy Award-winning actress Laura Dern, and the film's director, Academy Award winner Florian Zeller. Thank you both very much for uh, joining us. I want to continue the conversation. Um, Hugh was just incredible. The movie's incredible, and it really captures Laura the greatest challenge for the best mother in the world or the most hotshot lawyer in New York City, the greatest challenge really is a troubled child. How did this project impact you? In every way possible. Thank you so much for having us all. Uh, I feel so privileged to get to speak uh, about Florian's amazing uh, screenplay and now film um, that I, he invited me to be part of, because there is no conversation like this that um, is shared globally. Uh, we are all experiencing the conversation around mental health and mental health crisis, and particularly with adolescents. It is a deep epidemic and something that we wanted to all explore together, um, how to take the shame out of the conversation and find community yeah. around it. And uh, the, both, as Hugh shared, the, the openness with which the entire cast and crew brought their life experience to each other, as well as everyone who's been seeing the film, has been incredibly moving. So I'm learning every day and continue to. So, uh, Florine, I've got four kids. Uh, our, our good friend Mike Barnacle has seven. And um, Mike used to tell me, um, you're only as happy as your, your unhappiest child. And, and that strikes too close to home. Looking at this film, uh, it, it, it was hard to watch at times, especially with Hugh Jackman making the same exact mistakes that as a father. You know, I would make. And when I talk to my friends, the same mistakes that they would make. What are, what are you being upset about? When I was young, I did this or that. Okay, right, right. We, after we got, we talk about DBT all the time. After we got in DBT, you know, they'd say, don't talk about yourself. Don't do this. Don't do it. Validate. It, validate. It is extraordinary watching this movie because I just went to a reunion and my God, everything that you're exploring here my friends at the, the high school reunion were all talking about with their children. Yeah, thank you for saying that. But it's, it's true that this is who we are, right? We are sons right. and daughters for, I mean, and, and, and we are trying to, to, to deal with that and to deal with what we receive, trying to do better, trying to do differently than what our parents did. And, and you know, becoming a parent, we understand that it was, it's not that easy. Um, you know, to do differently, and it's called the, the son, and uh, and we understand that you know uh, the father in that story, Hugh Jackman, is also a son, a son in pain who was just trying to yes. to be the father he never had, or to be a better father than he had, and and you said that it could be painful, but I think that you know even a, a hard watch could do some good somehow. You know, there is a mm -hmm. consolation to make you remember that we are all on the same boat, meaning, you know, trying yeah. to deal with the same fears, the same challenges. And I think that's, you know, what art can provide, the feeling that we are part of something bigger than ourselves. And there are as, several... as you asked, Mika, like, you know, we're, oh, I was just saying there are the imperfections of being human, you know, mm -hmm. as everyone says, they don't ask for a license before we become parents. And we're, we're learning in real time. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's a terrifying and uh, challenging job that is our greatest blessing. But uh, I appreciate you bringing up DBT, something that, you know, those skills I am learning and uh, is helping me as a communicator with my kids. Um, yeah. as, as much as we can listen and be available to them, um, which this film is such a reminder of as well. Listen, validate, lead with your emotions. Two things can be true at the same time. Radical acceptance. And you're not a hot shot. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Right, right. Uh, everything that works for you in the outside world is not what you need with your relationship with your kids. There are several emotional moments throughout the film. Let's take a look at one key moment featuring Laura your character. Take a look. 
when you think about it. There was so much joy in our family back then. I don't know what happened. I loved him so much. And you. I loved you so much, Peter. If you knew how much I loved you. You know, there, there, there's so much here, uh, so, so many layers. And, and of course, uh, what, what I love, and, and I just, I'll throw this to both of you, you, you all here. What I love is, one of the things that worries me is that, you know, our family, people that we know, we're able to, to, to talk to professionals. We're able to learn about DBT. We're able to, to learn how to sort through this. What I love about this movie is you all open it up for everybody. I mean, this is a learning experience yeah. for people who may not be exposed to the type of help that families need. Yeah, and also it's, it's difficult to sometimes to accept the idea that you are not well equipped to help the people you love and that you need to ask for help. And sometimes it takes time, you know, to accept that. And uh, so this is what the story is about, to remember that, you know, it's not a shame not to be equipped and not to know what to do anymore as parents. That's okay. And there are people around there that could help. And this is important to, to get their help. And that it's easy to be blinded by one's own grief mm -hmm. or shame uh, yes. in this story, per the, the scene you showed, two parents of divorce, and I think as a mother, you know, one thing I, I was so moved by in the character is she was leading with her belief that somehow it was her or her failing or the divorce or what she hadn't done. But it's very hard to see outside yourself and really help another person if you're somehow wanting to hold the blame. You, you can't yes. get into the action of being the supporter and as Florian so beautifully wrote, and it's so painful, this line, but true, which is sometimes love is not enough, as the doctor says in the film. And that is, is a great reckoning as a, as a parent, certainly. It sure is. Um, love is every, everything, but you also need skills as a parent. The Sun opens in theaters nationwide this Friday. Laura Dern and Florian Zeller, thank you both so much for doing this remarkable movie. Film. We'll be right back with much more Morning Joe.